What's up guys, Trey Pays back again with Rebecca for your Toro BJJ move of the week. This week, we're gonna be looking at a takedown, okay? One of my favorite takedowns in the world, the ankle pick. Okay, so I'm gonna show you kind of two different grip variations here. One is a little bit more traditional. It works gi or no gi, wrestling, however you wanna end up using it. Um, the other one's gonna be kind of gi specific for my jiu-jitsu players, right? So, uh, when we're setting this up, the grips I like to start off with, okay? I'm gonna reach in and get a collar tie on the back of her neck. So all that is, is just me cupping the back of her neck right here, keeping my elbow tight, okay? On the other side right here, I'm gonna end up getting what's called inside control. So inside control is just a lot of times you have to kind of pummel for it, but I put my hand on the inside of her hand right here. This is coming up and I'm just grabbing the back of the tricep right there. Okay, so I'm not doing like a C grip on the bicep, I'm going all the way through the tricep and hooking onto it. Now what that allows me to do is pull so that I can end up getting that foot back there to step forward. And that's how we're going to end up finishing the ankle pick, right? So I have my grip set up, all right, to get that foot forward. Because right now, if I just try to go for it when it's back, she's going to sprawl and I'm going to lose the position and end up actually kind of getting taken down myself, right? So collar time, inside control here. I'm gonna snap her head down and pull her tricep towards me. As I do that, I'm gonna step off to the side a little bit, right? So coming back, we're here. I snap, pull, step, boom, here. Once that foot ends up in range, I'm gonna end up squatting down. When you squat, bring her head with you, right? So I'm bringing the head down, making sure that my head doesn't go below her head, right? I'm bringing it all the way down and then I start shoving it into that knee. Right, so I'm almost trying to take her ear and put it right there on her knee if I can. Drive it all the way into that leg. Now from here, once we're down low enough, I slide off of the tricep and I cover up her ankle. Once we cover up that ankle, I'm just driving through. I'm pushing off my back foot, bumping her with my forearm and my shoulder, and I'm driving all the way down to the ground. Once she hits the ground, do not let go of this foot. You see a lot of people ankle pick here, lose grip, and this person sets up a guard, or they just stand back up, and now we're back to square one. As soon as I ankle pick, boom, I'm immediately holding onto this foot, pulling it up, and driving my hips in. Because now this will allow me to set up leg drag, toriando, whatever you end up looking to do from there. Let's say I can't go with these grips, right? They're getting good collar grips on me, they're pushing me back, they're breaking that down. Really hard to break posture in the gi. Okay, so what I'll end up doing is modifying it just a little bit. It's still the same principles, right? But instead of me going up here and here, I'm just gonna grab right here at the collar. Right, so just a traditional collar and sleeve grip, right? Now, if they already have this foot forward, too easy. If not, it's step back, right? I'm gonna have to kind of do the same thing. It's similar, but not the same. I'm not on the head anymore, so you're not gonna get as dynamic of a snap but I do need her to step forward. So I'll snap, pull the exact same way. I'm just pulling the sleeve this time instead of at the collar. I'm pulling, boom, to get that foot forward. Once it steps forward, same thing's gonna happen. I drop down low, cover it up, and now I'm punching up into her collarbone, almost like I'm going all the way up to the ceiling back here as I cover up that ankle bone, boom, to get my ankle pitch. All right, now what'll happen sometimes, is let's say we get into here, right? I do my snap, I got the foot forward, I go for it, I drop down, and my angle's off just a little bit, and this foot comes off the ground, and they end up here. You go into all types of single legs and stuff from here, but with the gi and with this grip on the collar, one of the easiest takedowns I've ever learned, and it looks amazing when you do it, right, is holding on to this leg, just like you would for a single, holding on to the collar, I'm gonna step across her body, here, I kick, and pull, boom. They're going flying. <laughs>